Come January of 2022, I will have been programming professionally for six years. I can't help but think back to those early days and realize just how lost I was. And I often find myself asking the question, if I had to start over with what I know about programming today, how would I go about it? With that being said, here are my five steps to go from zero to full-time software developer. Step one, language. People tend to get hung up on the best language to learn. We wanna pick the most optimal language, the one that's going to for sure get us a job in the future. We want the most bang for our buck when learning how to code or just learning a new skill in general. From an evolutionary standpoint, this makes sense. As our ultimate goal in life is to survive, we've evolved to preserve as much energy as possible while satisfying our need to please the reward center of our brain. So don't beat yourself up too much for being lazy. It just means your body is doing what it's supposed to do. But because we generally want the most bang for our buck and due to the nature of the abundant amount of information out there, it is easy to get lost in analysis paralysis when trying to figure out where to start. And what often happens is that we overthink the starting point so much that we end up making zero progress. But here's the thing. It is better to do less than you hoped for than nothing at all. Even if you told me you want to learn COBOL in 2022, I would say go for it. Is it an obsolete language? Yeah. Are there many jobs that want COBOL developers? Nah. But the thing is learning COBOL will get you closer to your end goal and not even starting at all. That initial momentum is the most important. However, usually the hardest. This is why it is crucial to not overthink that starting point and just dive in. But if I could go back in time and slap my 20 year old self in the face with something, it would definitely be a JavaScript book. I would learn JavaScript and I'd become really good at it. My reasoning, not only has JavaScript ranked the most commonly used programming language for nine years in a row with over 64% of the developer market using JavaScript as their primary language, according to this Stack Overflow survey. But with JavaScript, you can essentially become a full stack developer with this one language. Some of the most used front end frameworks in the technical market use JavaScript, React, Vue, Angular, and with Node, a backend JavaScript runtime environment, you're able to write server-side backend code with this language. Not only that, but cross-platform mobile application development with JavaScript has become a very viable option in today's market thanks to React Native. So with one language, you're able to write front-end websites, backend server-side code, and mobile applications. I do believe JavaScript is the most practical language for finding a job in today's market, but take that with a grain of salt and learn whatever interests you. Perhaps that would be C Sharp for game dev, Kotlin Swift for mobile dev, or Python for data science. Your first language is never your last, and as I've mentioned multiple times on this channel, the principles behind coding aren't built into programming languages, which you will soon find out after you take that dive. Step two, the beginning. This is the beginning, and the beginning is often the hardest part. You need momentum, and you need to get into the mindset of a programmer. You need to write code every single day for the immediate future. And this may seem difficult, especially if you have a busy schedule, but we often fail to learn a new skill because we set our expectations way too high. I'm going to use every free moment I have to learn this new thing. This is something that I often tell myself when I'm excited in the moment, but when it comes time to sit down and study that one to two to three hour time block, it starts to look like a lot of work. So my advice is to start small, really small to the point where it's almost impossible to mess this up. Day zero through seven, start for five minutes. Only sit down and learn how to code for five minutes every day. How hard is that? After the first week, progressively overload your learning sessions for five minutes every week to every couple of days. In the beginning, if you tell yourself you're only going to sit down and study code for five minutes, it won't be hard to get into that rhythm. And once you get into that rhythm, It'll be hard to stop. So where do you start learning? For the next few months, start with basic syntax. Learn variables, functions, conditions, loops, classes, objects. Follow along with free resources such as Free Code Camp or Code Academy. This is where you need to get your coding reps in. Code, compile, code, compile, code, compile. Step three, imitate. Time to take it to the next level. You may not feel like you're ready, but you're never gonna feel like you're ready. Find someone to learn from. If you can in real life, great, but the reality is most people learning how to code will find a mentor online. And when I say mentor, I don't mean someone that you can constantly check in with. I just mean somebody that you can learn from who is more experienced in the subject than you. Imitate from that mentor. Copy their tutorials, line for line. Be curious. Not sure what a certain piece of code is doing? Google it. Research it. 
There's no rush here. This is where I want to invite you to check out React, the complete guide. This is a course that is on Udemy, which is the sponsor of today's video that I've actually dived into myself. This course helped me get my bearings for React when first starting out and is taught by one of the top rated instructors on the platform, Maximilian Schwarzmuller. With 48 hours of video content, this course will take you from the basics of JavaScript to the more advanced concepts of React. React is among one of the most popular front end libraries currently out there on the technical market. And if I was starting over today in 2022, I would certainly learn React. I also believe starting with front end development will help you get your bearings as a programmer. Having a UI in place helps you conceptualize the flow of data throughout an application. And this could really help you when first learning, especially if you're a more visual learner like myself. As a compliment to this course, Maximilian Schwartzmuller also has a Node.js course where you can learn backend development using JavaScript. This course will help you learn everything from the basics all the way up to the more advanced concepts of Node.js. And along the way, you will learn how to interface with some popular databases such as MongoDB and SQL. Both of these courses should provide you with a very solid foundation for starting your career out as a full stack developer. Again, this is the route that I would go down if I was starting over from scratch. If you would like something that's more of an all-in-one, another great course is the complete 2022 web development course by Dr. Angela Yu. Angela will take you from zero to full stack web developer teaching you HTML, CSS, jQuery, Bootstrap, React, Node, and databases. If you're interested in any of these courses, they will be in the description below. I'm super excited to partner with Udemy as I've been using their product ever since I first started my coding journey. Now for step four, it's to innovate. After a few months of imitating, it is time to dive into your own projects from scratch. This is the phase where the real learning starts, where you get stuck and you have to figure the problem out on your own without that crutch of a tutorial. Building your own projects are key when learning how to code. Don't have an idea? Doesn't matter. Take something that already exists and innovate on top of that. You're not trying to make the next Facebook, you're just trying to get your first developer job. Build a portfolio. Have a few key projects that you can really sink your teeth into that demonstrate your ability to code. This portfolio is what you're going to use to market yourself and is even more crucial if you're a self-taught programmer. Step five, market. For the last six months, you've been locked in your room becoming a programmer with minimal contact from the outside world. But it's time to put yourself out there. And depending on who you are, this may be the hardest part. Build a LinkedIn. Post cringy programming motivation. Message people. Talk to people. Make friends in the industry. Message recruiters. Apply for every job you can, regardless of the requirements. Go to programming meetups. Network with people. Networking is extremely crucial. Get job interviews, bomb job interviews, a lot of them. Learn from your interview failures. Sharpen the areas you need to sharpen. Finding a job can be a full-time job itself. Getting your foot in the door somewhere is the final step in your ticket to making this your career. So how long will it take you to go from zero to full-time developer? And to be honest, time is irrelevant. If you're only coding twice every six months, then there's no way that it can happen in a year. What matters is the amount of time you sit down and actually write code. Just like we constantly have to do the same thing every day to build muscle in the gym, we gotta do the same thing to build those brain muscles. Code, compile, code, compile, code, compile. 